Welcome back to the boom. All right, welcome back to the boom. 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 Boom 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 This is bad. The intro sucked. The energy was low. The song was bad. That was not a good. That wasn't a good one. That was one of our finer ones. McNasty. What? Yeah, you know what? McNasty needed to catch up. He's been gone for 300 years. So. It's all monkey business. It's all monkey Sometimes business. Sometimes it's all monkey business. What are you doing? What are you writing, writing down? Matt? Notes. Work on intro. Okay, okay I will. That'll be my next. That'll be my homework for yeah. next week. We got that down yeah. on the monkey business card. Yeah. I'll write a 12, okay. 12 oh. point, uh, 400 paragraph essay, and then I'll beatbox the whole thing. You gonna write a white guy? Isn't that what they call white guys' essays? Uh uh. I thought it was disc jockey. That's gringo. <sighs> Who the I fuck is gringo. essay? Essay is just essay like, means like homie, brother. Yeah, like friend. Uh, oh, Padre. Hey, really? Essay. I thought it was like a derogatory thing. I might be. I'm stupid. No, no you, never, you never heard people be like, hey, essay. Oh. Hey, no. Holmes. That's gr you're thinking of gringo. It's like buddy. It's like dude. It's like me saying, hey, dude. Yeah. Ah, damn. I can use this long hair on my. <laughs> Whose long hair is that? That was a cool intro. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was dope. There's a little <laughs> hair. <laughs> Beatboxing be because there's a hair on my mic. <laughs> we should anyway. just start like whipping out our guitars and just playing some fucking crazy death metal bullshit for the goons intro. Yeah, all you of us. Do that? Yeah, at, at once. Time. Every, it's gonna sound like a fucking yeah, guitar, like a guitar center. Guitar center, yeah. Yeah, I'll do. I'll I'm do playing, rhythm. I'm playing Stairway to Heaven over and over. I'll do rhythm. Nothing Soup, else. you do bass, and and Barg, you do main vocals, and then Dude does a solo over the rhythm. How about I we just don't, don't get to do play my any guitar? of that? At all, and we just go goon, 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 and we do goon, the goon. fucking podcast. How about that, huh? I don't know. We that. do the fucking podcast that we're here for right now, huh? We are here for a podcast. I, I, uh, you know, I forgot. I let that slip my mind for a little bit, but we are here for that. You're yeah, right. Yeah, it slipped your mind for two months. Two, two. It's close enough. We'll round up. Motherfucker. How long have you been gone? What have you been doing? Where are? Where have you been? I've been having a COVID, boy. I've been having a damn COVID, and it's been making me sick and not go. Out. You still have COVID right now? No, I'm like no. I also find it hard to sit for one hour with COVID. Oh, I just, dude, I could not even get out of bed, dude. I was so fucking tired. Like COVID, just like we should have done a bed podcast. Bed podcast. I've thought about doing that before, actually, like setting up everything, and I'm just in bed. The only thing I tried was setting up my laptop by like my arcade machines and play like pinball the whole time, but it it wasn't going well. That would go hard. I think that would be sick to have like one podcast where we just all of us just change locations. Like we just sit in our kitchen or something. I feel like we got to do it randomly and like don't tell any of the other members and just like yeah. one person every once in a while. I mean, I could easily else. just do that with my green screen. You guys would never even know. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Pull it down right now. I can't. It's stapled. Not sta it's nailed into the wall. <laughs> Damn, you Jesus, really? your fucking green screen. I crucified that motherfucker. <laughs> it ain't going nowhere. How do you have no. your green your green screen set up? Is it like you like pull it down from your ceiling or what? No, it's just no, nailed. It's nailed, in, it's it's nailed, nailed into the wall and it just stays hanging down. Hanging, oh, are you not in your garage? Hanging out like dog nuts. What? He's in his garage. He's just moved in his garage. Oh, you like moved your oh okay. Yeah, He's I, in a I different moved, spot near his garage. Yeah, I changed my, my setup. Instead of having my truck and everything in the background, I just moved it. Mm. So I have a full wall of possibilities. Nice. Nice. Why is there a TV behind your setup? What is that for? Um, I was gonna do something with it, but now nah, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with it. I feel like that wasn't. You should just get like a. Let's put like a little G subs out. I was there. gonna. Yeah, I was gonna like. Well, it's not plugged in. It's just. It's just hung up. I, I like, see that. I see. I see the fucking yeah. cord <laughs> <dangling>. exposed cord. <laughs> I was just gonna put up like a green screen on there and then just add some stuff. But I haven't. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't plugged it in or set it up yet. The plug is not like long enough to reach the plug. Look. You couldn't just get a long HDMI and use it as another Earth monitor. Break. I could do that, yeah. Are you gonna set it yeah. up like a fucking? You should put some bowling alley animations on it. 
<laughs> yeah. Like really fucking cursed. Like the ones where like the fucking uh, the pins like gang up on the bowling ball and like yeah, just like start fucking it. it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I agree. That would be good. That'd be and then just, just a goons goons G Sops logo. I'll put another picture of Kramer. I don't okay. know if that you need Kramers. a second picture of Kramer. Oh, he's in frame now. Yeah, he's I feel like he in wasn't frame. in frame previously. I feel like no. you can only see his lower half. He was this guy. Well, I remember when I first set him up, I I didn't have it right, but now I have like my my camera's like lower on my desk now. Do you know how mad the guy that built that house would probably be to know what photo is hanging up there now? <laughs> He'd probably <laughs> like this pissed. is where this this person has their like most prestigious award or something, and now you just have a guy just a nice just say, a real say that that's like your it's grandpa like or something. <laughs> Yeah, I could just lie about who it is. Well, the thing is, I don't know if you see like right, like right there. That's like a yeah. Seinfeld logo. <laughs> so he would just Jesus. see the Seinfeld logo. <laughs> also, the guy probably knows who Kramer is. Yeah, just say Kramer's my grandpa. Yeah, I guess I yeah. could lie about that too. Yeah. Just lie to his face. Mm -hmm. What's he gonna for do? Fact check no, you? Absolutely no reason. Lies I mean, I fact checked him, so it would only be fair for him I mean, to do that. You too. fact checked him. Did he well, say he was Kramer? I had to see who, you know, I had to see who the golf legend was. That oh, lived yeah, in yeah, 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 the guy that lived in your house, yeah. Yeah, could have just been a big fat lie, he just had a fake green jacket. See, I feel like I should have fact-checked the guy that lived in my house before because he was apparently a firefighter, but in the property next to my house, there is a bunch of dead pine trees with a fire pit right below them. Like, they're maybe five and a half feet above the fire pit. Really? Like that, that whole thing could just catch on fire if you use a fire pit. I, was, I don't know if the guy was just like bored and wanted to work more, so he just like hoped he caught a fire on his property. But <laughs> yeah, not a not a not a smart firefighter. Maybe he just didn't give a fuck because he has the tools to you know yeah, get rid of the fire. Parked his it. whole fire truck on the property and got ready to use it any time. Did you guys ever go on fire trucks as kids? Yep. No. I got to ride a Zamboni at a Detroit Red Wings game. That was cool. What the fuck? Usually is that? it's like. The Zamboni? Zamboni? You don't know what Zamboni is? No. It's like the ice cleaner. Like it like takes all the oh, snow off the okay. ice in between yeah. periods. Yeah, it's called a Zamboni. I didn't know that there was an official name for it. Yep. It's kind, of goofy, kind of goofy ass a Canadian name. Hey, yeah, get even, a Zamboni I don't there, even know if it's a I don't know if I mean Canada invented hockey, but I don't know if Canada in, or invented the Zamboni. Zamboni? <laughs> Had to be in Canada with a name like that. Yeah. I went for a ride on yeah. the Zamboni. Who invented the first Zamboni? Yeah, for Frank Zamboni. Oh, oh there you oh. go. <laughs> no way, that, that sounds, sounds like a meme. Dude, I want to fact check you right now because that doesn't sound Utah. real. Utah. That he was born Italian. in Zamboni. he was born in 1901 in Utah. Oh man, that sounds oh, like wow. a New Yorker name. Zamboni. He's a real guy, Frank, Frank Zamboni. Frank Zamboni. <laughs> I would have never guessed that was a real guy, to be honest. I would have absolutely never guessed Frank Zamboni was. It's real. so wild. There's some like I feel like at least like once every couple of weeks, I find out that the name of something is literally just because the person who made it was their last, last name. name. Yeah. And then I'm just like, wow, yeah. I've been saying that for 30 fucking years, and it's just a guy's name. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, was it Sam Walton? Invented Walmart and Sam's. Oh just, really? No way. Sam really? Walton. I think his name's Sam Walton. Really? What the they fuck? Made, they made Sam's Club in Walmart. Oh. Huh. Yeah, Sam Walton. Do you guys <laughs> are you uh Sam's Club or Costco guys? Uh I, I neither. Yeah, neither. Really? Neither. Yeah, I, I, well, I like, peruse Costco. I get shit I get shit from Costco. Costco's meat selection is really nice. Yeah, what a their food boring conversation really this is. But yeah, Costco's got, got nice uh you can get a nice ribeye from good Costco. Old cut. They got good cuts at that joint. They do. Yeah, you can actually find some uh, some Japanese wagyu at at Costco occasionally. Yeah, Ooh. you can you can take their salmon too, make sushi out of it. It's like sushi grade salmon. You can take their salmon by force. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can steal <laughs> the salmon. You can take bringing, their uh... salmon at gunpoint <laughs> and season it to your desire. <laughs> you can put That's it in sushi. It's sushi grade. <laughs> sushi uh. grade. Sushi grade. Well, well Blark, I want to know it. how uh, Thanksgiving was. Sure, yeah, I was going to ask McNasty if he had anything go on in the last month, because you haven't been sick for a month. I feel like you were busy with something right before, right? Uh, no. No? Okay, all right. McNasty was just cranking his auger and having sick. COVID. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, but yeah, Friendsgiving was, was good. We uh, we had a few less people than last year, because some, some of them couldn't make it, which is fine, but we rented a uh, cabin up in Gatlingburg. 
and the Smoky Mountains, which you didn't believe is a real place. Smoky, Smoky Mountains Mountain thing. Club. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're real, real place. That's that's mountains. Um, but yeah, we uh, we stayed there for six days. Uh, me, Smitty flew in, uh, rented a car, and then just drove there from Nashville. It's super pretty drive, like through the mountains and stuff. Highly recommend. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It was uh, chill for the most part, but there was a few things we did. Uh, the worst place of all that I've ever been to in my entire fucking life was Dollywood. I hope that place burns to the fucking ground tomorrow. Dollywood is a dystopian nightmare. But Dolly is, Parton has big boobies. Dude, I love Dolly Parton. <laughs> yeah, Dolly Parton is, is, she is a wonderful human oh, being yeah, who happens to have big bowling ball Bahama mama titties. She's yeah. got like, the Bahama mama bangers. There's not bangers. much She's got to the heavies. dislike about Dolly Parton. But fuck <laughs> me, is Dolly World the worst place I have literally ever been to in my fucking life? I don't know why we drove four hours into the mountains to go enjoy the mountains. We had an indoor pool. We had a fucking hot tub. We had a pool table. We had, a, you know, basketball courts. We had anything we could possibly need to enjoy ourselves at the cabin. We had. And then they came up with the idea to go to fucking Dollywood. I was immediately like, I'm going to be honest. I was I was being a little bitch about it because I didn't want to go. I thought that shit was stupid. Everyone yeah. else wanted to go. I was like, fucking whatever. All right. I'm not going to be a little bitch about it. I'm going to go. Dude, I have never seen so many fucking fat people in Mario Karts in my entire <laughs> goddamn life. Holy shit. I want to well, go back Well, you also there. went, like, w during the Dude, uh, the so, Christmas light thing, so right? So, the Christmas light started, and there was a drone show that night. Apparently, Dolly Parton was there. If I would have saw her, I probably would have punched her in the nose that night, because I was really mad at her. Um, but, yeah, they had a drone show, which was the stupidest fucking drone show I've ever seen. We'll get on to that later. Uh, so, we got there, and... There's like four arcade games to play and a fucking one roller coaster, but it's November, so it's basically like Frostbit, you know, Frostbite Simulator to go on the roller coaster. So we weren't doing that. Um, so we played little little games, fair games, throw the ball, watch the little ball things fly away. Cool. Um, I want a little little guy, a little furry guy. I don't know where he went. He was just more Chinese, you know, material waste put into a yeah. little fish or something. Uh, so I threw that out. <laughs> Didn't really want that. Um, and then we hung out there, we ate, I will say, I got a, uh, garlic parmesan pretzel, and that shit fucked. It was, like, that crazy bread from Little Caesars, but, like, not dripping grease. So that did go mm -hmm. hard. So she gets, like, 5% less anger from me because of that. Um, but it was, like, abnormally busy because of everything going on. There was a cool Christmas tree, that was, you know, woohoo, big, big tree. Um... So there's that, and then, uh, the drone show was starting in half an hour, and we're like, fuck, we gotta go, because by the time the drone show is done, that's when the park closes, and it's gonna be chaos. All the fat people in their Mario Karts are all gonna be trying to get first place, and I don't have enough turtles for this, so we're like, <laughs> we gotta dip. So we thought every other fucking theme park in the entire world has more than one way to get in and out of the park. Dolly World, to our knowledge was just one entrance, one exit, right next to each other. That's dangerous. So we were halfway through the park, yeah, and we're like, surely there's an exit at the end. So we went all the way to the end of fucking Dollywood, and there was nothing. There was this one little stupid roller coaster, and nothing else. Just a barren wasteland. Just a, a fallen dystopian planet. So we started to head back, and the fucking drone show started. Dude, it was like 13 drones in the vague the size of a Christmas tree up in the sky. Ooh. It was not interesting at all. And the American monkey population, like, is just showing a bunch of gorillas fire for the first time. All of them just fucking mouth open filming in the middle of the walkway. And it was like a hundred of those fuckers in a row sideways. So you literally could not walk. There was a handicapped woman in front of Jared, like an actual handicapped woman, not a fat person Mario Kart. And they would not let her through. We were literally really? like, please move out of the way. The one guy's like, what? we're watching. We have nowhere to go. We can't see the drones from anywhere else. It's a vague shape of a Christmas tree. You don't need to film it. You're not looking at that fucking video again. Leave. Go home to your family. They miss you. You are 50 and by yourself at Dollywood. It's time to go home. Dude, I <laughs> literally took us like an hour to walk a third of a mile. Because the stupid Mario Kart people filming, and then they all try to get out, and it just looked like bumper cars at the exit. And all the people are too fat to walk to their car, so there's a fucking fatty train that takes you to your stupid car, <laughs> and none of them could fit on it. So there's, like, spots for, like, five people, but everyone's so goddamn obese, there's, like, two people per row. So you had to wait for the train for, like, half an hour. Dude, it was... 
it was hell on earth. I don't know. <laughs> I've never uh, heard listen, you get this passionate over anything. Dude, do you feel better? <laughs> yeah. I feel a little better. I, I didn't want to rant there because I didn't want to be negative to them when we were actually at the place because everyone felt bad that wanted to go because they were like, oh, no, this was like a waste of four yeah. hours. And I was like, yeah, it fucking was a waste of four hours. Dude, I... God damn. It's like the average American is not that large. I understand that, you know, there's an ob obesity uh, epidemic in the United States, but it's like they all got herded like a bunch of cattle into Dollywood. It, there was so many of them, man, and it was smelly and hot and it was not a good place to be. And I never want to go back. I haven't been to Dollywood that many times. I don't I'm trying to remember. I know I went, there. I know I went uh, when I was younger. But I don't really remember. It's crazy to me that, that Dolly Parton even has a, her own amusement park. Like, that's such a weird. I mean, thing I'm to sure if it wasn't busy there, I'm sure if it wasn't busy there, I would have had a lot more fun because the food yeah, seemed like it was went, great. Whenever I went when it wasn't super busy, it, I mean, it was just people walking around and it was basically like a, to, from what I remember, like a shopping center yeah. kind of thing. Uh. Yeah, like that aspect we didn't even get to do because it was just like. A, a wall of humans. Yeah, you guys definitely. Every entrance. You like guys definitely went at, at, at a very horrible time. Yeah. I feel like it's not that bad. But I also share your uh, sentiment on like amusement parks and stuff. I like Disney World, uh, whatever, dude. Anything like that, I fucking. I, I, it's just not for me. It's just not yeah, my thing. Yeah, I, I'm, I, big on I'm, I'm not about it. There's nothing like the there only... that I'm I'm missing, or I feel like I'm. I, I, like even at Disney World, I get that people love it and it's no. magical and all that. Whatever. <laughs> I, I just, it's just not for me, dude. I can't, I can't do like, it. Like, the only one I've had fun at is, it's like a, a Ohio staple, which is already a depressing sentence in its own, but uh, <laughs> Cedar Point, uh, pretty fun amusement park. Their food, it kind of bangs. Uh, they got like these big old elephant ear things that, that go crazy. Um, just like fried dough with cinnamon. But uh, they have some fun ass roller coasters and it doesn't get insanely busy there. Um, but that's the only time I think I've actually enjoyed one. I feel like Disney World and even Disneyland, I was like, this is fun for like five minutes and now I'd like to go home. Yeah. I just, I hate waiting in line for like an hour, two hours to ride oh, a ride. It's so frustrating. It's just not, it's it's not like worth it. It's a three it. minute ride. Yeah, it's like two hours and you ride a roller coaster for three minutes. It's like, all right, what are we doing now? Dude, and then there's like, <laughs> there's literally like, there's like power creep and tickets there where they like, you could get the premium ticket where you could like skip the line and yeah. then you get like the premium line skip two ticket. And it's like, there's like six lines now and every, it's like, what the hell is happening here? The normal tickets like just become useless. Like they're just, they're just fodder for the rest of the tickets. You just eat them. It's so stupid. I don't know. I, I got beef with amusement parks. They're like. I don't. They are, they are peak like dystopian nightmare to me. I just don't like being in large crowds of people. That's yeah, like one of my yeah, least favorite. Yeah, it's one of my imagine, least favorite things. Imagine none of them moving either. Imagine yeah. all of them just standing there. Only time it's fun is a concert. Yeah, I was say, yeah, that's, a no, good that's good the sense. only time I feel like it's worth like waiting in line. Yeah, because you're like like at a concert, concert. you're like at the whole time actively focusing on like entertainment. Well, everyone's standing there for the same thing. Not yeah. a million people going to 20,000 different things all yeah. at once. Yeah. It's not chaotic. Yeah, and like there's there's people that walk up, they go there, and then they leave. It's all one, you know, motion of the ocean. Yeah. Whereas the Mario Karts are all fucking, they're T-boning <laughs> each other. They're, one's driving forward, one's trying to do a ollie off a cool ramp. Like, it's just <laughs> impossible to navigate there. It's, I yeah, want to go to uh, Nintendo like World, it. though. I will deal with in it. Japan? For no, not in Japan. I'm going to wait. Until it comes to Florida, I think. Florida's getting a Nintendo land or world, yeah. whatever the fuck. That's kind of sick. Yeah. Hey, I, I know there gonna... is one in Japan. I don't know if Yummy went, but... I'd yeah, I don't know. I think, I think the one in Florida is going to be a part of, like, Universal or close to it or something. Universal okay. Studios thing. I don't know. But I will be going to that because, you know, I'm a big-ass Nintendo Mario nerd. Yeah. yeah. But you sure are. I just... I don't know. Like, I... I, I still am just so I hate amusement parks. I hate like the fair, like any of that shit. It's just not. It's just not fucking fun. To the me. only sorry. fun thing about medieval fairs is being covered in mud and eating a half raw turkey leg with your bare hands. I will. I've say never been to one of those. I do yeah. like. I, I do like medieval like... times though. Medieval times is fun. Yeah. Yeah. Most yeah those are. Like uh, yeah, I was. I was pretty uh, close minded to them, and then my friend was like, "No, just come with us. Like, you're not gonna sit by yourself at my apartment." And I was like, "Yeah, okay, I'll come." And, uh, 
I I will concede. I had fun. It was it was a it's very just, good it time. Seems more people just like it's it, there's more like a there's like a um there's like a it's like a show. Yeah, you, you go there for like a reason. Dude, it's not just like oh I'm gonna go to a you know, the random people fair. jousting. They were not messing around. They were out for blood. They don't the one dude around. got like knocked out clean. Like got hit really? right in the head off his horse. Did like a fucking double backflip and landed in the mud. Like probably just a mix of mud and horse shit. And he landed in, in and he was passed out. What? You guys went when you were in Vegas? No. No, no I, was, I was in Toronto. Uh, they haven't met a few times in Vegas, right? Uh, I have no idea. I don't know. Probably. I thought they did. I'm going to no. be honest, dude. I did, anything outside of casinos, I had no idea what was happening. I knew there was a <laughs> sphere, and I knew there was restaurants outside of the casinos. That was it. Everything else was mystery. How was the sphere, by the way? Did you guys, like, go near it or anything? Um, no. We could just well, see it from our is. hotel. Uh, it was sphery. Did it do anything, like, weird? Uh, Every morning at about 7 a.m., probably, no, probably a bit earlier, probably, like, 6.30, when the sun was about to start coming up, uh, it turned yellow and looked around, so that was like my indication. Oh, of the little emoji face or whatever. Yeah, he'd yeah. just be looking at me, and I'm like, I know you're judging. He's me. looking around like, go to bed, motherfucker. Who's awake? <laughs> Who's awake right now? Go to bed. Go to bed, boy. Imagine yeah. if that thing could like talk. It'd be terrifying. They probably Imagine living could near that. it and hear it speak. Yeah, be... the guy with schizophrenia would be losing his fucking. Mind. Imagine living next to it, and every morning at 6 a.m., you just see a bright yellow light coming through your window. <laughs> well, I saw a guy on Reddit had to buy, like, he literally doubled up on, uh, uh, like, window coverings and stuff because it was so bright. Mm, I, was, that I think it was an apartment. I don't know. I couldn't tell if it was an apartment or house, but I imagine apartment. But, yeah, it, like, was very bright. You could see it across his blackout curtains. You could just see it, like, peeking out from behind, just a light emanating oh through God. the window. Yeah, that's ass. Yeah. That's AIDS. Yeah. AIDS on a step. I want to enjoy it. I mean, one of our, uh, Flom, the guy who taught us, uh, Craps. Apparently, Craps. he can see it roughly from where he lives. Oh. Well, yeah. I guess it's not too bad if you can see it in the distance, but not, mm -hmm. not right up next to it. That would not yeah. be fun. Yeah. No. Right across the street from it. I didn't I know. know what it, I didn't know that the sphere was going to be like an advertising thing. I thought it was going to be a basketball. Yeah, it was a, it was a Spider Man ad half the time. Really? Yeah. That's an yeah, ass. It was, it was like so, U two so Spider Man, and an emoji. <laughs> yeah. It was it the Earth at one the, point and the Moon at another point. Did it do the eyeball while we were there? I didn't. I, no, it wasn't the eyeball. No, not the eyeball. Huh. No. Yeah, no, wasn't that exciting. Although it's it's a really cool concert venue. So shame that fucking U two plays there, but yeah, I've seen some cool. videos of it. It's pretty wild. <laughs> and yeah, it'd be really cool. You're not a big U two fan or what? <laughs> They're just like white bread of music. Like yeah. there's nothing wrong with them at all. Pretty They're bland. Just like, yeah, it's just like. I don't know. It's like putting two pieces of stale bread up to your ear holes and just listening <laughs> just to what it's got to say. Listening to bread. I don't know many U2 songs. <laughs> exactly. All I know is yeah, With or Without You, I think. That's like the only one I know. They got they got a few bangers, but yeah. The 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 like listening to a full album through of U2 would not be a fun time. Yeah, I definitely uh, would never buy it. In my a humble album. opinion, I'm sure there's a lot of big U2 fans out there and I'm sorry if I've offended you. Didn't I remember uh I th was it iPhones or iPods at one time? Yeah, I was I I I think it was the iPhone because I iPhones? remember everybody got stuck with the U2 yeah. album, <laughs> whether they wanted it or not. You just had a U2 oh, album. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. It was just part shit. of your phone. Yeah. Had yeah. no fucking choice. No. <laughs> <laughs> just just got molested by U2. Force fucking U2 on our phone. Unconsensual U2. <laughs> uh, you guys excited about Creed? Creed? Yeah. Absolutely. We're going. We oh, have. Yeah. We're going to see that fun. somewhere, somewhere at some somewhere, point in time. Somewhere in the world, we'll yeah. go see Creed. I'm Absolutely. sure we'll actually have to buy tickets like soon. To be honest, we yeah. should. We should like uh, get a bus or something and follow them around on tour. <laughs> <laughs> should for be like, like groupies. Year. Yeah, just follow. Do nothing but follow Creed around for a whole year. <laughs> there's, honestly, that there's probably be, good people that are going to do shit like that. That would be oh, a wonderful sure. use of an entire year. Yeah, it's twenty for twenty four is the year of Creed following. I looked it up earlier um, when we were uh, in a call together, and we saw that uh, they're going to be in Dallas on 9-11. <laughs> I feel like it's just a good... They're going to be inside of me on 9-11. <laughs> yeah, I got that on the, dude, I got that on the, on the tour. I got my got data. It. He's going to shrink I wish right and put him into his butt. <laughs> oh, to be inside of Dallas on 9-11. <laughs> what an honor and a pleasure. It's the best day. It's when I'm the happiest.
Happiest day of the year. I wonder if they're going to do the national anthem on that day. I'm, I'm sure that they will. Was, yeah. <laughs> Texas on 9-11? You got, I mean, come on, dude. Yeah, true. They're going to do, they're gonna do a little something-something. I wonder if he's going to do Marlins will soar. That should be the fucking closer the of the night. <laughs> the closer, <yeah. laughs> I feel like that'd yeah. be a good closer. Yeah, hell of a closer. Let's play ball. It's nine eleven. I did that song. I listened to it again not that long ago. Is it my recommended? It is actually so funny that it's just like vague baseball terms and a melody. Yeah, yeah. like there is no structure or like. Well, it's a, it's actually just, a, it's one of his songs. He just changed the words to baseball. To baseball things. terms. Yeah. That's so funny, man. <laughs> yeah, it's We Will Soar, so isn't bad. it? We Will Soar? Something like that. Yeah. It's actually a really Some good song. song. about soaring. Like, it's a, when you listen to it, it's actually like, it sounds good. I could never listen to the original anymore, though, after hearing Marlins Will Soar. <laughs> yeah. There's no going back, I feel like. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. That's the one good thing I like about uh, Scott Stapp is he's always stayed, like, a good singer. Like he, I feel like he still definitely like practices and stuff, and he doesn't let his voice get all like yeah. fucked. Vince Neil. Yeah. Fucking yeah, Vince I mean Neil. that's pretty impressive through years of drug abuse to be able to like, you know, stay focused on <laughs> not yeah. losing your only thing that makes you money and keeps you relevant. True. Pretty good idea to do that, I would say. Yeah, not the worst thing I've seen somebody. Not the worst decision I've seen somebody make. Mm. Yes, you do anything please. else fun in tuner Um, I was trying to think of anything else. Uh, I feel like I had something to tell you guys yesterday. I told you guys about all the places we drove through. That was cool. Those are not very monetizable names, but a lot of weird names driving through Tennessee. When you like open up your weather app and you just see that you're in Farragut, is wild. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like just just opening up my phone and seeing the weather like can you imagine some like 60 year old big mega guy looking at his weather app and just seeing that he's in there he's gonna get out of that town <laughs> yeah. Yeah. get me out of this hell hole where the hell am i <laughs> <laughs> How does uh, yeah, we also, uh, this town? yeah we also drove through uh what was it black man uh that was a wow. cool place it wasn't very it wasn't very big which is ironic um, but yeah, we drove through Biggest Black dick, Man. We found, we found Black Man Convenience. There was Black Man Community Living. There was a Black Man Cemetery, which that one might be accurate. Um, yeah, not a not a great place to live or raise your children inside of Black Man. Um, yeah, me and my family live in Black Man. <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't like Blackman? Blackman, probably, yeah. It was spelled Black Man. I don't know what Black to Man. Black Man. Living Black Man. <laughs> Right next door to Mexican man. <laughs> and hopping to skip away from white man. Down the road from Di- Chinese man. Diverse place. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was a cool place. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, we did a whole lot of nothing. We went in a cave. That was fun. It's called Forbidden Caverns or something. Caves. Oh, I don't know. We fuck went in there. that. No, I'm we went not in there. going in a place called Forbidden Cavern. It, yeah. That means really stay the fuck wa- out. It really wasn't that forbidden. It was like pretty <laughs> like standard an area, cave. Like Ring or something. Yeah. Yeah. No. It was just like I don't know. There's it's just a cave. It was cool to walk around. Blark I'd never seen like a natural cave. Yeah, I'd never seen a cave that that large. There was a. Did you slay like a, skeleton guards? No, there was a uh, water flowing through it though, so that's kind of scary. There's like a whole underground like river. Um, oh, that's trippy. So yeah, I can't imagine Fuck like that. spelunking and then that that overflow. So that would be cool. Fuck that dude I, um, I went down a rabbit hole of watching cave videos and people exploring dude, caves and that yeah that's nightmare fuel right yeah. there. well i saw a clip on uh on reddit like what, or two days ago or something um these guys were spelunking and the water level was higher than they thought and they, so they had to go from air pocket to air pocket yeah which means going underwater and then coming back up the one dude freaked out because he thought he missed the air pocket so he's like swinging his arms everywhere and he like punches his friend who's in the air pocket and like drags him under the water for a minute dude it's like oh my god why would you do <sighs> that like what why do you wake up and go i need to go in a dark cave for hours on end and potentially die what is like wh- just do heroin at that point. It's safer. <laughs> chase that other. Chase that dragon through other means. <laughs> that's yeah, a good. I don't know. That's a good. Would you rather? Would you rather lose your legs or spelunk? 
I'm take take my legs because I'm losing everything in spelunking. I I'm <laughs> dying. That's not necessarily true. You could live. Dude, yeah. I don't have like I don't have claus claustrophobia oh. or anything. Hello? But that shit still like freaks me out. He is one FPS. I feel today. like that would make me claustrophobic. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. That's why it's like I'm not claustrophobic whatsoever, but the idea of being trapped, especially like in water in a cave, is just that sounds like hell. Yeah. Water in a Dave, water in a Dave. Dude, yeah, lose your Dave. legs or go splunking. Oh, I'm losing my legs, dude. Are you wearing a bad See? omen shirt? Oh my god. Absolutely. Yeah, bro. I wanna fucking come Shit. in you right now, baby. Bend over. Damn. Great band. Ooh. Horrible fan base. God that damn. Really good merch. I've never is seen there, is there is there fan base shit? They are kind of like the Minecraft of uh, metalcore. Oh my god! What okay, the fuck? dude. What the fuck? You're going you, you, You're raw dogging the dogs dude, in the Nike. I was shoes probably smell like ass. Raw dogging the dogs in the Nike, bro. It's not bad actually. Those probably smell horrible. <laughs> Send them to my house. I could do a shoey out of this bitch. I'll take a it's whiff. <laughs> no, um, whiff. I was in a rush. I forgot socks. Oh. Um, spelunking? Absolutely the hell not, dude. I yeah, see, I see those videos. I see those videos on Twitter of dudes finding like an air pocket, and there's like water up to their nose holes and shit, and they're yeah. Mm -hmm. did, did you did you see the one the, the guy that freaked out and like thought mm -hmm. he missed the air pocket? So yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was just trying to tell him about that. Yeah, that was insane. Where he like hell drags no. his friend underwater for a second. Yeah. Dude, yeah. No. Uh, fuck that. Dude. Cannot be me. What are you gonna do about Omegle, bro? We gotta talk about it. People are yeah. probably curious what you think. Uh, dude, I- so that was like a bombshell that went off, cause like, I thought Im Omegle was gonna be immortal. Like, who thought Omegle would ever fucking shut down? Yeah, there was no like warning or anything, we were literally just in a call after recording, and then, boom, it just mm -hmm. happened. Yeah, we were like mid-session. Um, yeah, I- uh, they apparently- I mean, obviously it's Omegle, it's an online thing where you could meet anyone on the planet, yeah. and there's a lot of nefarious, very illegal, predatory things that happen on there. And so, uh, apparently they've also caught a lot of people on the website as well, like, uh, jailed, like, predators and sex offenders and traffickers and shit. So there's been some good and bad, I mean, but apparently like, that, uh, the People pressure. get arrested. I've never just, heard about that before. Just cranking their hog, and then, like, somebody who's under 18 just shows up in Omega, like, uh, do those people I, get in trouble? I think it was- they should. <laughs> well, they should, yeah, but- there's no actual real security to Omegle. If anybody's ever gone on there, you just check a box. It's like, yeah, I'm legal, and it just lets you in. Yeah. There's no, yeah. like, you have to attach an email or anything at all. Yeah. yeah no verification. But, yeah. That place. Dude, I ran into a guy on there one time that was, like, selling drugs. It was in <laughs> Actually, one of my videos. Like he, was, he was like, we, we're we selling Xanax bars. I mean, he could have been <laughs> bullshitting, but it, I don't know. It definitely didn't come off as bullshit. Seems believable. I've seen Seemed people believable. snorting crack. I've seen uh, <laughs> people running videos of of suicides. Uh, I've oh, seen I've everything. Seen those. Yeah, I saw a kid blow his brains out. Uh, oh one man, time. you're a brave soldier. I cannot handle that shit. Well, but it's you, not like I had time you to didn't process go on live it. Leak in the shows. <laughs> you, yeah. I feel like if you, yeah, dude, imagine it. you see someone. You see, it's not funny. It's not funny. You see someone get their head blown off, and then it like cuts to the next person, like, "Oh my God, you're the dude!" And you're just sitting there like, yeah. And I just saw a murder happen. Murder you're just sitting there himself. like stunned from seeing actual murder. Play thunderstruck, Th dude, thunderstruck, thunderstruck. You're just yeah. processing a suicide you just witnessed. <laughs> yeah. So I get, I get why they it shut down. I guess, but. Uh, yeah. The guy apparently he wrote like a long letter like on the on the website about like yeah, why he had that. to shut it down and stuff and what, I get what was it, the reason I didn't read the letter. Ultimately, it's because people don't think websites where sex traffickers and pedophiles and shit can just happen constantly should be open. So I think That's he from the immense enough. pressure Reasonable. of it, he's like, I can't, they can't keep this up anymore in yeah. good conscience. I mean, so. that's uh, that's kind of like I don't want to say good in a way, but. It obviously sucks ass, but yeah, I mean, that's uh, I just, well, a valid reason. Good reason. Yeah, valid reason. Now. Right, so this same stuff happens on Twitter and on probably the Omi TV and Monkey app Discord and was and... really, really bad for pedos. Yeah. Yeah, Discord has always been pretty bad. You know what, I'm surprised it's he never, like, flipper. I'm surprised there's never tried to do some kind of, like, AI like thing log, that can, like, yeah, detect or, like, wieners. Log in. Or that, yeah, just, just make, <laughs> like, the verification stronger, like... It's yeah. like it's not that hard to do. I feel like you you could just 
make a website that's the same exact thing, but just have people like verify who they are with a yep. driver's license or something. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. And if you're caught but, like doing fucking just showing your schlong off to little girls, like then you get reported to the fucking police. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, you would prevent people like that because they'd have to put their fucking ID on there. Yeah, exactly. True. It's just right. Not, yeah. But it's completely anonymous as it as it was. Uh, you know, respect. Not really respect, but respect to the people who had the full body cam with their face and their dick. Man, like that's brave. That's <laughs> yeah, brave. Yeah. That pretty wild. The only like wild Omega experience I had like as a content creator is I remember I did a. Uh, I did a video for like drawing people on Omegle. And there was a guy who was being punished by his frat bros, and he literally had to fuck a sandwich until morning. And this, like, I probably found him at like Omegle? 2 a.m. Yeah, and he was literally just like had a sandwich on his shit, and he was just cranking it. And he's like, I can't skip anyone. Please skip me, bro. Please. And I was like, No, I'm going to draw you. So I just drew this guy <laughs> fucking oh his God. sandwich. And I just, I remember I like went upstairs and got a cup of water and stuff and just left this <laughs> he's guy still in the fucking his sandwich. <laughs> Did you have like a conversation with him? Or you're like, So. Dude, uh... he, he wouldn't talk. He wouldn't, he would only type. And the whole, hold on, I, I could probably. How do you fuck a sandwich and type? The, that's impressive. The, uh, no, so he, talented like, and on sandwich. So like, he started. He started cranking his shit, and he showed me that he he, he apparently he had to show me he was he was fucking a sandwich. So he showed me, and it was like, dude, it was this like meaty mayonnaise sandwich that he was just oh. slamming it in. Oh, 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 um, yeah, baby. I it was would, like, dude. well, it wasn't even a sandwich. It was more of like a meat cavern. He took like an <laughs> Italian loaf, and they put like a dick size hole in it, and then wrapped it in meat. And then there was like mayonnaise and condiments and stuff. So it wasn't like a real sandwich. It was more of like a like a, a, a pogo stick kind of thing, you know? Oh. Um, There's no like fucking dog. club, group, friend mm -hmm. circle I would ever fuck a sandwich on the internet uh, all dude, night Dude, yeah. till morning. Or definitely not. All night. This was at 2 a.m. So he probably had like... This was in the summer though. So he, he probably dog. had like... Well, he wasn't doing it the whole time because he'd stop and he'd type. He'd like he'd go sure. for a minute, and I could literally see like like <laughs> so you see like, his one arm he just was kind of moving. Edging, basically. Yeah, and then he'd like <laughs> touch me. He'd be like he was like, "Dude, please, <laughs> please skip me, dude, please." Like I don't want you to see this. Please go away, dude. I feel please like skip. though someone like you so could be bad. his saving grace. You know imagine what I mean? What's I'm saying? I could. If he was a fan of you. <laughs> he was like, please, man, please. Oh, please, I've always, wa I've always wanted the, to meet you, man. Oh. If, if, if there's any fan base that's gonna be fucking a sandwich on Omega till six a.m., it's gonna be the Goons fan base. Yeah, that yeah, is true. Man. Yeah. I can't yeah, believe but, it's uh, gone, though, dude. I can't yeah, believe it's gone. Sad. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It, it, End of an era. I have a lot. Okay, dude. Really dude, wait, are you gonna plug yeah, your band right now? That's toxic. We're, gonna, we're gonna do a song right now. That's toxic, dude. dude. <laughs> Bad timing. Bad timing. <laughs> yeah, I owe, I owe a lot to that website. Obviously, it's kind of weird. It's like it's like a restaurant that you went to for your whole life got torn down or some shit. It's like a piece of my life is gone. Yeah, weird. I feel like yeah. that website probably owes you a lot. I feel like a lot of people go on there to see you. It does seem yeah. that way. Yeah. yeah, there's people who have told me that they've been on there like every week for like four years. Oh my god! Just to run into me, which Jesus. is like, man, I love you, man. Now that's imagine crazy. the amount of people who have done that for four years and have never got the chance and to meet. Never you. did. And now it's just yeah. gone forever. And well, now it's your hey, fault. Find me on OPTV. <laughs> that's our last place. All the all the uh, cocks and throw up and murder that they've seen. That's on you, dude. <laughs> Because they were trying to yeah. find you, dude. I've, I've traumatized I've, a lot you, of people. Like, I've scarred <laughs> hundreds of thousands of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we have we have two two places left to go. It's it'll be Omi TV and then it'll be Monkey App. Monkey App. Monkey dude. App is Monkey our app. last our last front line. Is that line. a real thing? Monkey it is. App? Is that what it's so called? Cursed. Monkey App. Yeah. Look out for playing guitar on Monkey App, but I pretend I'm a girl. <laughs> Or some <laughs> shit. What a terrible title. <laughs> what do you mean, not clicking on that? Come on. Actually, yeah. group? <laughs> Monkey, yeah, but I pretend I'm I'm starting beginner. a video chat, and if the first thing I see is a wiener, I'm going to kill myself. Oh, you actually have to sign in. Hold on, that's actually good. Yeah. On Monkey app? All right, never mind then. Apparently, that's solid. Monkey chat make everything a better. better too. Apparently what is? Chat roulette's a lot better, too. I went on there because oh. they had this boof-ass old, like, 1995 website forever. Mm -hmm. But uh looks like you actually have to like make an account and shit on there. What's the other one? Omi TV. It's O M E dot TV. I got a Jamaican singer. Nice. Is he good? I don't know. <laughs> Are you just on there right now? <laughs> hey man, doing a podcast. This is a weird place. Yeah, Omi TV is pretty much the same thing. Yeah, I remember it's pretty seeing much the same website. 
Uh, it's just that there's no interest on there, so the only way I ever found to mitigate uh, people snorting crack and sucking their own cock was to have interest put in, so I'll have to see more of that now. Woo! Oh, yeah. is there no interest? Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, buddy. And what's a little bit of penis? Uh, it's nothing to me What's anymore? a little you know? bit of snorting crack off of Peter? Come on. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Uh, what McNasty? You know I was gonna what? say that the uh, uh, they should figure out a way to, to make it so they can um, you can't use the the software where you're able to like just play a video on loop. Oh, like ManyCam? Yeah. Other websites are a little more strict about that. Omega was like the Wild West, which is one reason why I'll miss it because people just did this is the most random shit on there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, well, if they didn't have the ManyCam stuff, then the worst thing you would see is just a pee pee. Instead a live of, wiener uh, instead of a post wiener. Dead baby yeah. or some shit, yeah. A live wiener. Yeah. And here we see a live wiener <laughs> in the wild on the internet. Yeah. Yep. Wiener yeah, moment. So, all right, I, not, I, I have not been on Omega as an adult just for fun. It's weird that people do that, though. Yeah. I think it's yeah, not like, really a whole lot I, of adults. I, it is, though. There's, like, a weird amount of, like, non-content creators that were just on it for mm -hmm. the vibe that's yeah like, i know i, I see a lot of like tiktok and stuff but i Th feel like it's usually like younger like young people their answer is always the same mm. i'm just bored but like when i'm bored i'd never think i'm gonna go on omegle yeah, for I'm no reason I, I there's like eighteen thousand other things <laughs> yeah, i can think video of video games <laughs> movies friendship on the list of shit. <laughs> yeah i think there's a lot Doodling of people on, on there yeah, yeah. It's like I'll, I'll literally sit and I'll count to a million by myself for no reason before I get on there for no Shooting reason. Shooting pumpkins is really fun. I did that uh, yesterday. That sounds oh, yeah. fun. It's kind of sick. What made you want to do that? Just the I, was, just, I was bored. Just mad about him? <laughs> I was literally bored. Just Halloween's had, over. So I had pumpkins. Pumpkins. Uh, Blew a pumpkin up. A pistol. I shot him with a pistol. Uh, and I shot him with hollow point ammo. Hollow point nine millimeter, which is really cool because oh, yeah. you can see the exit wound on the yeah. back of the pumpkin. Hell it was yeah. fucking. Because that shit probably blew out the back. Yeah. Oh. I was blowing out the back of a pumpkin yesterday, boys. It was fun as fuck. <laughs> oh. That's one hell of a Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. My days are all dumb. It was one of them days that ends with a Y. Yeah. I was doing it. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Anywho. Yeah. Anywho. I changed my toilet seat. Fuck yeah, dude. I changed my <laughs> goons The goons have right officially there. ran out of conversation. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, you guys, you, I'm telling you you guys just, my highlights. Did you just doo-doo the shit out of it to unrepairable damage? Or like, why did you have to change it? Well, the it? previous owner, I don't know how the fuck the toilet seat got into the condition that it was. And I've just been too lazy to change it. But the toilet seat in my house was like, it looked like a dog had been chewing on it. Really? It like what a were you dog doing? Been, I I didn't do anything. It was in that condition when I got it. Oh. And okay. I I don't know how it got to that condition. Like I've never been even in a like truck stop that had a seat that bad. Really? Damn. It Damn. wasn't even like gross. It was just it looked like it was from Chernobyl. It was just a fuck <laughs> toilet seat. I don't know how it, like, like a thousand had, year old decayed Like it wasn't toilet. dirty. Yeah. It was just beat to shit. No, it it wasn't dirty at all. It was just like it was like you had an item in a video game and you used it so many times that it was like halfway broken. Just, yeah, degraded, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like it's a fallout. The, the durability gone. gone down. Yeah. Durability that I see was gone. Dude, <laughs> do you guys know anyone or like wherever no. around anyone who has a uh, like <laughs> the carpet <laughs> covers on their toilet seat? Oh. Oh no. yes, dude. Oh, yes. Yes. And, yes. and, and the one on the floor. That, the dude. one on the floor that's full of piss too that you got to stand oh, on. One of those. You shut the fuck up. I'm gonna no piss way. all over it. You have carpet That's around so your gross. toilet? <laughs> yeah. I, Dude, we I used to have that I when I was younger. Oh my you god. It's, it's you warm on your shit from your ass. It's warm I, on your toilet. You just wash it. You wash it every week. You don't, you don't just leave it there for months on end. There's no you, way you, you wash, wash it every week. week. I, I, I personally, Zero percent chance you wash I pay somebody <laughs> to wash it. I personally do not wash my shit covered. I wouldn't touch that shit with an eight foot pole. Hell no. No, I have a person that I have a person that washes it for me. Yeah, you have somebody wash your shit rug for you. Yeah. Shit rug. So your How feet much? can be warm while you... You should have never been given <laughs> Dude, Which money. is weird because you also take the fastest shits. So, like, you need that carpet there to keep them warm for, what, 20 yeah, seconds? I yeah. yeah, I don't know. It kind of... Well, it just looks nice, too. It's like... You know, you no, it doesn't. diarrhea 24-7, by no. the way? A piss stain no, rug. No, I have nice. solid poops all the time. It's very rare How that I How do they just there. launch out of you? Boom! 
I just like a noob too. It's because like when I go to poop, they're like <laughs> sitting right at the end of my butthole, and then I sit down, push it out, wipe, and then I'm done. <laughs> So you wait till the the last so edge. possible You're edging. second. Yeah, yeah like really edging I mean, right now, I don't dogging. feel a turd. You're edging your turtlenecking. It's not like I feel the poop for hours, and then when I f- I can't stand it anymore, I finally shit. <laughs> I feel the poop for hours. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it happens, and then I. Sit. I used to do that as a kid to see how long I could last. Really, I hold it in for as long as possible. That's yeah. probably so bad for Did you. Ever tell it's you not about good. That time where I lost control of my gooch muscle and I shit. No. What? Please. When expand. I was camping, you lost control of your gooch How muscle. How do you just I was lose control of your gooch muscle? You forget to put WD forty on it. No, you haven't. I, no. Oh, okay. Uh, so one time uh, when I was, uh, I was probably like early twenties, <laughs> I think. This was and last week. Don't I lie. was camping uh, with my family for Easter because we used to do that like every year, and um, mm. so when we first went there, I was sharing a tent with my dad and my sister. And then my grandparents showed up, and they put up their tent. Yeah, that tent smelled like shit. But they, oh no, it smelled terrible, dude. Oh yeah. My dad, whew, that motherfucker farts every eight seconds, dude. It's just <laughs> constant. And then he snores like eight bears put together. Oh god, terrible, terrible, terrible. But so this is where I lucked out, right? So my grandparents showed up the next day and set up. My grandparents, it's like the air's coming in one end and the pushing out the other. Yeah. <laughs> So let me tell you how I kind of I want to sleep with your dad I kind of lucked out but then I unlucked out at the end of it So my grandparents show up the next day Set up their tent and then I guess they didn't Want to stay the night so they left but they left their tent There so my uncle He slept in my grandparents tent because it was just Nicer than his tent I guess And then I asked my uncle I was like hey can I sleep in your tent Tonight so like I don't sleep with my fucking dad He was like yeah go ahead So um that day we ate Like a big uh we had like a bunch of other family members come up and make like a big potluck type thing, you know, tri tip, potato salad, just all kinds of shit. And, you know, I obviously ate a fucking <laughs> fuck ton of food and I didn't shit before <laughs> I went to bed. <laughs> so, um, in the tent, I'm just, I'm laying there and I'm waking up what feels like every 10 minutes to pinch off a turd from coming out. Cause I don't want to get out of my tent. You know, it's like one or two in the morning and I don't want to like walk fucking thirty minutes down to the the area. No way does a thirty area. minute poop walk. You wanted you, it's you didn't want to you didn't want to walk to shit, so you just laid there while your body is telling you get up and go yeah, shit. Pretty much. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I was okay. just like I was. That I was like I'll wait like till the morning. Self inflicted wound. Well, my yeah. in my mind, I was like I'll wait till the morning, and then my I'll just have my dad drive me down there, and then because um, it's it's far. Like the bathrooms are not from where we were at. The bathrooms are pretty far away. It was like, so, it probably would have took uh, me like 20 minutes to walk there. And I was just like, I don't want to do so that. So I want to know what happened, please, because I, I have a question. So, yeah, like I said, every, it felt like every 10, well, it was probably like every hour I was waking up and just like, like squeezing my gooch muscle to prevent the shit from coming <laughs> you out. You could have pooped like Dude, four times I, like, by you now. You didn't know, walk to go shit. You just lay in there in agony. Like, <laughs> Pretty oh, much, yeah. Oh, Dude, like, you're I'm fucked. Just, you're oh, a like, fucked individual. Like for 15 seconds, just, oh God. And then I would just go back to sleep. <laughs> like the muscle, the pain, the shit pain would go away. So, <laughs> I lo- dude, that tent smelled so bad because you were literally just. Oh no, I was just- farting. I was the, the, farting. the poop was um, you, emerging. It was, out. Emerging. it was literally out. Yeah, yeah. that's why we have water in toilets. It goes under, so it don't smell so bad too, and it can flush away. <laughs> you just out in the open the air. I don't know, man. It was just I was just not so, thinking at the time. So okay, so let me so. Like the you way are, that the you, tent, you are a frustrating human being to listen the w- to. <laughs> the way that the, <laughs> before I get to the end, the way that the tent was set up, it was like it was up on this hill by itself, and it was facing away from the campsite. So like, so when oh, I no. so when I got out of the tent, oh. um, in the morning, it was probably I don't know five six in the morning. It was early, and when my body went from being bent. To like straight up, I lost all control of my ass muscle. <laughs> my asshole muscle was just gone. And in my instinct, it was either I was going to sh- completely oh. fill up my fucking pants with shit, or, or I'm going to pull my pants down and lay a cow pie on the floor in front of the tent. And I'm, so, glad, so. I'm glad that I was able to pull my pants down, or I would have just filled up my fucking underwear with shit. So here's the fuck thing if, if the tent would have been turned okay. the other way around, my my uncle and my cousin would have watched me lay a cow pie on the floor. <laughs> no context. They just, they just think you're retarded. They're like, they oh, what a beautiful day to wake up in the, yeah. in the woods camping. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you just, just 
huge just mounds like 20 of feet shit. away from him. <laughs> just plopping a pot cow pie on the floor. Uh, dude. <laughs> I'm never going camping with you, buddy, ever. <laughs> yeah. Well, I obviously wouldn't do that now. So you did? Did you? You didn't I, that shit is not in obvious. the tent. You didn't no, shit no, in the I tent. Didn't shit in the tent, no. So you oh you God. stood up from sleeping. You were like, oh God. And no, so, what, so, so were... the tent was like short, so I had to be like hunched over. Oh, you the crawled tent. out. Oh, you okay, crawled you crawled out. When I got like, out, and then I was able to fully stand up, and my body was like straight. I, the gooch muscles. I feel like gravity just like did its thing, and it was like oh. it's coming out of you right now. So pull your pants down, boy. And and what happened afterwards? Oh, I had to, I had to, I, I'm pretty sure I just walked to the bathroom and then threw my underwear away and just So you made it to the, the bathroom mess. anyway in the Man, end of the story. Yeah. So you ended up, yeah, you, you ended up walking to the bathroom anyway. Pretty much, yeah. If, yeah. If you oh were, my you were throwing God, out your dude. underwear anyway, why wouldn't you just shit in them and then just like, you know, just gone. <laughs> Let it land on someone's woods. tent. Well, where was I, yeah, <laughs> where was I going to do that? Just get naked right in front of my uncle and my cousin sitting you, in the fire well, you well, that's did. what you, you did shit. anyway you fucking dropped a fat shit in front of, yeah wait, no, you no, already they, pulled they down didn't your see it though because the tent was faced the other well, way well that's what them. I mean I... shit your underwear where you shat your pants fire off launch your fucking underwear into the forest nobody's yeah, like gonna find them yeah literally you could just whip it around and then boom with the <laughs> momentum gone well, uh, there wait, wasn't wait I mean, into the forest and take a shower and nobody needs to know that you diarrhea dookied your body there wasn't a forest anywhere near me Okay, we'll roll down the hill. You camping you in New York City? Were there other <laughs> campsites that could see you yeah, doing where, this? Where the no. fuck were you camping? If there was a camp zone, we were on the edge. Are we you like, camping in a parking lot? <laughs> no, we were at like a, a lake. We're camping in a lake. Well, then fire him in the lake. You could have <laughs> just went down to the into the lake and shit in the lake. Yeah. I, I like I Made said, I lost my There's so wrestle. many better options than shitting on the floor outside your tent. Well, this like is what I said, when, I, when the I stood we don't up, defecate I lost all next control. Where we live. No, but you knew you needed to poop for like three hours oh, in this story. That's, I definitely should have. Like, I learned my lesson. I would never do that again. If I feel poop pain in the middle of the night while I'm camping. That's crazy that you had to learn that lesson, though. Most people would just go, <laughs> oh, my God, I, I have know, to poop. At 20-something. Yeah, yeah I was, I, I'm pretty sure I was like in my early 20s. Oh, my God. This was not that long ago. You were an insane human being. nine years ago, maybe. Yeah, or seven or eight. You're a weird Christ. little guy, man. Yeah. Well, have you been camping since? Nah, I don't really camp much. I'm not real big on camping. <laughs> it took, it Did, took that one ex- time. Was there an experience that might <laughs> have ruined it? it? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> if I do camp, though, I'd want to buy like a camper. Uh, sleeping in tents is just rough. I don't love it, but you know. <laughs> if I was five seven, I wouldn't mind sleeping in tents, but. Yeah, it's not that bad. Why are you guys just gonna throw shade at Dew for no reason? <laughs> <laughs> what did I do, man? <laughs> I feel like it's not that bad if you get like a cot or something. It's not terrible. A cot, yeah. Yeah, yeah he had like a double a double tall mattress, so it wasn't that bad. Oh yeah, what the fuck? Let's you were glamping. The only, thing, the only thing I hate about camping is how wet the tent gets and you cannot do anything to avoid it. Like just the the like condensation from nighttime to daytime. And you just get, get in there and it's here. just soaking wet. Yeah, man, that, that might be a problem. Like where, you know, I'm from. And if I go like you know, way far strong. up in the mountains to camp, then yeah, it gets that cold. But like camping, like there's a lake like an hour away from here, lake and it's. Lake. I wouldn't do it in the winter. I'd only do it in the summer. Yep. Yeah. I yeah. Not go absolutely. Oh, fuck that. Yeah, camping in the summer kind of sucks too, especially when it's like super duper hot. I yeah, you're kind of just think stuck. You don't like. Long. I don't think. Yeah, you it like sounds camping. like you're not a camper. Yeah, I'm just not real big on camping. Sounds like you weren't in the Boy Scouts of America. I mean, when I was a kid, I fucking loved it. I loved camping because, you know, I, when I was a kid, I also had all my, like, cousins, like, eight or nine cousins to, like, do shit with. But now I go camping Jesus and, like, Christ, there's nobody there. you got a big-ass family. Yeah, on my dad's side, the family's pretty big. You got, like, now a Mexican-sized just... family, but you're white. Pretty much, yeah, Chinese <laughs> family. Yeah, they get uh, pretty limited, depending. I think uh, Mexican was a better analogy, but yeah. Sure. I think there's laws... Is that yeah, Asian? there's yeah, yeah North Korean law. family. Yeah. No, China. Didn't live long ago. <laughs> Not cultured. Well, what do we uh, what do we want to talk about for? Uh, I just want to shout out your your fire ass shirt real quick too. I don't think I've ever seen you wear it, so that should go <laughs> I just hard. Got it. Just just showed up in the mail. Got the DJ Dude, Khaled. it goes golfing. so it hard. Said, let's, it said, let's, let's go, go golfing. golfing. Officially let's go licensed golfing. DJ yeah, Khaled. Yeah, it's merch. actually from DJ Khaled's website, and you can you can do the little silly. Uh, <laughs> Look at that doofus! No, no, yeah, I love it, dude. Be me, Benny. Yep, DJ Khaled, go, go crazy. 
Speaking of uh, merch and stuff you can spend money on, use code Goons. Yes, yeah, sir. Get our Get ashes. It's Get our tongue. Or, or go buy Lean, because the group chat released their flavor not long yeah. ago, and it's quite good. Uh, so you can support both of us by buying their flavor and using our code. Best of both <laughs> worlds. Yeah. I don't and know I that they will change your code. shit color, though. I don't know that that'll happen. Yeah, that's the one downside. There's there's a, we there's can't guarantee you, that one. You could just mix it together, and theirs will get you fucked up, and ours will change your shit to green. Yeah. that's Actually, <laughs> I did that your at, at TwitchCon, and it wasn't very good. I mixed the flavors. It wasn't my favorite. But what, hey, what is their flavor? Lean. It's peach lemonade, I think. Oh, yeah. That definitely mm. wouldn't go good with raspberry you, cream. You <laughs> Lean and ashes go well together, baby. <laughs> You guys are absolutely insane. You, some of you fans have been tagging us in your concoctions with oh, grandpa's yeah. ashes. Dude, they are fucking hilarious. They're amazing. What was the one like, I saw the other day? I can't remember. Uh, Did you guys? Uh, is anyone else on the Goons Twitter account? Like, I know McNasty is. You guys have yeah, access have to it. it. Yeah. yeah. Did you see that we got tagged in a bunch of pictures of green shit for like three weeks? <laughs> no, I, I did not see that. that. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. Oh, you usually, guys are so uh, based. I don't know. Sure that that <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it was I'll like, be perusing you'd, those. You'd, literally, you'd literally have to like hit view more because Twitter could auto detect that it was <laughs> shit from an ad. <laughs> <laughs> had to send that to, uh, what was that Instagram page? Oh, oh God. Cop, Robot. Cop Robot. Cop Robot. Cop Robot. Dude, they haven't yeah. been posted in so long. We got oh, a whole died. plethora of uh, content. Phone. I'm going to check on them. Yeah, they, I'm pretty sure. And anyway, last time I checked, they haven't posted a hot minute. They probably got like the Black Plague. Like it probably came back from that, that account. Yeah. <laughs> the admin just died. <laughs> For anyone the most wondering, recent, it is a it is a community channel for people to s submit pictures or video of their shit. But it's also just like it. overall gross stuff. Like there was some yellow ass toenails in there and shit. There like, was a really uh, good one though. The Chewbacca one was the, the Chewbacca prime. one is so yeah. fucking Chewbacca funny. one was my favorite. Like OG. Oh. The most recent Grandpa's Ashes thing was the cottage cheese toast. Yeah, that that's one was that's what yeah. I was thinking of. I was gonna yeah. say I was thinking of like a sandwich, but yeah. Oh, it looks yeah, more. Dude, that looks yeah, like that mold. Like black mold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks fucking delicious, kinda. Yeah. But dude, yeah, when he like zooms that. in on it, and you can see, like, it looks like a pop tart when he zooms in on it, because it has all the like the sparkly shit on it. Oh yeah. Oh, because yeah, the fun. grandpa's ashes turns like a bluish kind of color when you put it on yeah. something. Yeah. Man. What was there was there was a couple more, but I can't remember. I know some uh, dude made like a cake thing. There was somebody out of that, that uh, seasoned chicken with it. That's what it was. Yeah. The chi dude, the chicken one was fucked. I yeah. know that chicken wasn't done. That chicken was not fully cooked. There's <laughs> yeah. no way. Yeah. He was cooking oh, that dude. chicken in like a a, a non-oiled pan, straight up raw dogging the chicken on that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Just the like, grandpa's ashes on it. <laughs> dude, I think the main cop robot got got banned. I yeah. dude. I can't find it. I was just gonna say there's a R. cop R. robot 2.0. I found I found daily poop pics. Wasn't it cop uh, robot? Oh, someone made ramen something? as well. The ramen one. Can oh you my make that one god! There's so much little snaky shits. The grandpa's ashes. Ashes. Ashen. Who is that? Guy? Guy. It's the guy who's eating it. It's the guy who eats the ramen. <laughs> it kind of looks, he looks like, like a little bit. He looks like he's eating ink. <laughs> Printer. I mean, ink. they do make they do make squid yeah, ink squid pasta ink. and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah oh. Yeah. It's actually pretty good. I like it. I. I can't believe Cop Robot's going too. That's two <laughs> elements of my life that I've built yeah. my entire that's personality like, on. I was say, that's like Gone. your two pillars. Your two pillars of yeah. life. <laughs> we, we have some lost media memes for sure. The Cop Robot one and the, the Can You Quack. I can't find that anywhere. That original oh, video. Really? Can no. I can't find it. Like last can time you I went quack to, like a duck when you suck? Oh. Last time I went to look for it, I couldn't find it. Huh. Can You Quack. You had me tweet that one I time. Like can You Quack. Duck. What the fuck is that? I think you know exactly what that is. I found it. Ooh, you found it? Is it on it's called uh, a re-upload though, or is it the original? Yeah, it's called DP. Of course it is. Dr. Pepper double penetration. <laughs> yeah, it is here. Oh. It's still here. Dude, Official I swear. Go TV. Dude, why am I getting recommended a video from 15 years ago? Future gen consoles but spelt wrong we two ps4 xbox i think youtube is broken right now dude because i'm getting my dude, recommended as fuck it right has now. to be look at this video i just got recommended hold on this goes hard i'm gonna watch yeah, this. i've been getting weird shit lately it's just like new apple phone yeah videos like that oh yeah. my god dude live the music <laughs> no that's a that's a meme video isn't it isn't it's that from like 15 years 
ago. There's that's no like way one of, this was a meme no, that, video. That that uh future gen consoles Wii 2 PS4, that's like a, a meme. iBox. They were dude, they were they were out of the game. That was fifteen years ago. Oh, huh, they were actually kind of close on the PS4. You skipped to like one ten. Wow, close that's on that. like literally just a PlayStation 4. Yeah. What the fuck? Weird. The fuck? See? It's huh. not so. I used to love so watching wrong. videos like that, the Xbox 720. And the yeah. controllers would have like 40 knobs on it. Yep. Oh. I love a good knob on a controller. Yeah, I love like a good knob. A couple of knobs on me controller. A couple controller. of knob heads on that controller. Knobheads. A couple of knobbies on a controller, mate. Knobheads! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh Murma. You've been really you've been really boogery. You got that long COVID? Yeah. Uh pff, maybe. I don't know. I I haven't felt like sick in like four or five days, but I've still just had like boogers. Boogers. Just congestion just and boogers. Bo I feel like you always have boogers though. Yeah, you yeah. do often you are a well known booger purveyor. Yeah, I'm, I'm known to peruse in the booger, booger side of things. Oh, I'm a booger connoisseur. He's booger. a boogeyman. Do you have the uh, the COVID <laughs> shit where <laughs> stuff tastes nasty? No, I I only did for a couple of days. Like onions That's my are least terrible. favorite part. Pizza was no, gross. I didn't get that. Yeah, I had that nasty Dude, you have a wild diet while you're sick. I like eat like two crackers and a, a soup. You're like, yeah, my fucking. 14 ounce ribeye and three pizzas weren't weren't ideal. <laughs> what? We're My ideal. oysters and caviar sick. tasted off today. <laughs> My seven foot two right, poutine dude. fried platter. You know one thing that didn't taste bad oh, weird was uh, McDonald's though. And for some reason I, I had McDonald's a couple times it didn't taste that gross. But then now that I'm I almost said sober. Now that I'm not sick, McDonald's is gross again. <laughs> now that I'm sober. <laughs> Dude, I do not like American McDonald's. I don't know what it is that's different about Canada. It might just be like greasy or Grease, something. Yeah. But something tastes like slightly different and it is just not good. Like I got a McDouble there. I couldn't get halfway through it. I had to throw it out. It was nasty. Not yeah. good. The only well, thing I ever get red from McDonald's weird. is the quarter pounder. Because they use like a different meat. It's not as gross. That's pretty safe. I feel like they're. I mean, the uh, chicken nuggets are fine. They're. That's what I, I usually know, I like get because the, the macros I... on the chicken nuggets aren't that bad. So I just kind of. Have you had any sauce? Going there. The mambo sauce. That's just pretty good. Uh, I threw one of them at a deer head. <laughs> okay, I didn't. Well, that's. I asked if you had tried it. <laughs> all I got. Uh, no, I Understood. threw it really hard though, and that was it. All was right. it a living deer head? Yeah. No, it was like mounted living on the wall of our, our house in Tennessee. I put okay. fries up its nostrils too. I didn't realize that that was a real dead deer head. I didn't know that that was like actually a thing people did. Oh, yeah, that was like so I felt I, I kind of like defiled its Desecrated corpse. I put like dead. yeah, I put I put fries <laughs> up its nose. I like I got a bunch of chicken nuggets and like put them on each point of its uh, <laughs> little horn things. So you had like a whole McDonald's meal on his head. You're gonna be haunted um, by an elk spirit for the rest of your yeah, life. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. You're not invited yeah. to the moon, Goonie. Oh, I'm sorry. The what? Dude, <laughs> you, you, you missed out. You, you missed out. out. Dude, when you got Gooning? off last night, oh my god, bro. Yeah, we, 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 we went down a we rabbit hole. We invented a new spiritual experience. What is the moon gooning? Oh, buddy. First, like somebody was, said, somebody really said sun gooning, go and I was like... I was like, I'm not really into sun gooning, but I do prefer the moon gooning. Moon gooning. Dude, and then like we just slur. That's what I said the same thing. I was like, it like, sounds horrible. Sort of moon yeah. goon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired of these fucking moon goons, man. It's basically where you kill a buffalo or yeah. you obtain a buffalo skull or a bison or an elk and you wear it. You cover yourself in elk's blood and you goon in the moonlight and you convene with the, boys. With the spirits. With the boys. With the boys. Yeah. Not with Dave, though. Dave's not yeah, invited. Dave. He kills no. the vibe. No, Dave He's can, a dick. Dave Sorry, can Dave. eat a dick. Dave can eat a dick. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that's cool. <laughs> See how confused Blarg is? The, the dude, people we were saying this to in game felt the same way, dude. Yeah, we were trying yeah. to how much longer did you guys record runners. after I was gone? Probably like, like an hour. Like an hour. <laughs> extra oh, hour. Jesus Christ. And it was one hour of moon gooning. Just moon gooning. <laughs> the whole time. Trying to recruit it was a moon so fucking funny, dude. Oh, my God. Yeah. That is hell. Yeah, we had one yeah. guy just leave the game. <laughs> just couldn't handle it anymore. Some guy typed and said, just, I do not want to talk to you. Yeah. Probably oh, just, yeah. bro, he probably just got home from his fucking job. He's got yelled at by his boss. He goes yeah. to play a relaxing game and then just listens to you guys talk about Moon Goon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, 
That's a shame for him. You're always one conversation away from becoming a millionaire with the right person or something. And yeah. he missed his opportunity to become a moon gooner certified. He would, choo he would choose the money over Jay-Z and it shows. <laughs> a two hour conversation with Jay-Z or whatever. Oh, Jesus. Yep, yep. use code goons. Code use code goons. Is it about code that time, fellas? Uh, is that a little Caesar shirt? What is your shirt? That's, that's his the, shirt. That's, that's his the merch. McNasty merch. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Bitch. Bitch. All right. All right. Bitch. I'm just wondering. Whoa. Subway wondering if you're fucker. still a shill. Do any of these subway fuckers. Do any of these fuckers. Does any of come these out subway of the walls? Fuckers just come out of the woods. Boner? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, it might be All that right. All yeah, right. It might be that Thanks for listening, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks. Thank you. Download Thanks, on Spotify. Guys. Go I download appreciate. on Spotify. Go buy some gamer subs. Use code goons. Code like goons. and subscribe. Tell use your mama goons. about us. Tell your mama about us. You want to use code goons. <laughs> make your so someone do a video of their actual grandpa trying grandpa's ashes. Can we make yep. that? I happen? would like to see that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll see that. Unless they have a pacemaker, then that might not be too good. But. No, give them double scoops if they have pacemakers. <laughs> yeah, make them dry <laughs> scoop it. <laughs> <laughs> Send the RPMs on that puppy all the way up. Disclaimer, do not kill your grandpa with grandpa's ashes. <laughs> yeah. nah, spool up grandpa's turbo, dry scoop three times, right down his gullet hole. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, fuck. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.